Hey you guys, so today I am here with a lavender hair tutorial. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that for my 21st birthday, I did my hair lavender. So I'm going to show you guys how I use these two products to get this. I was absolutely in love with it and I definitely had to record a tutorial to show you guys, so stay tuned. Now lavender is one of those colors that are kind of tricky so you have to make sure that you have the lightest hair possible. So 613 is one of the best routes to go in order to achieve this color. Um, this hair is from New Star Hair on AliExpress and this is their 613 straight. And I was sent four bundles and a frontal. So definitely be sure to check them out and also be sure to check out their super sale today on August 25th. A lot of AliExpress stores are having a major sale today and you are going to find the best sales on bundles. So definitely check that out. I'm going to be using these two brands, Ion Color Brilliance, which you can find at Sally's, and Adore, which you can find at or almost at any beauty supply store. Adore at the beauty supply store I went to was $3.69, and the Ion Color Brilliance usually is $4.79 with the Sally's card and $5.79 if you don't have one. Now, the first colored bundle that you guys saw was used. Um, I used the Ion Color Brilliance to get that color, and now I'm going to show you guys what the Adore dye, like how that get like the color that this dye gave because I this is my first time seeing how the lavender um would have like shown up on 613 hair so I was kind of shocked so I'm gonna show you guys how this looks but you're gonna see like the difference in like results and vibrance and stuff it's kind of weird but definitely check this out so um the adore one is going to give more of a darker color and it's not gonna look like that at well it is gonna look like that at first but you're going to really see the difference in lavender once I show you guys the results pictures with and without flash. Now, as we look at this dye being applied onto this hair, we would normally assume that this is going to give a eggplant color or any type of dark purple that's just dreary and not attractive. Um, but yeah, this, this Adore actually surprised me, but it wasn't as amazing as the Ion Color Brilliant. So I'm going to just give you guys a heads up. If you plan on doing this color, please do it with 613 here because it's way easier. And please do it with Ion Color Brilliance. Unless you guys have another alternative. If you do, please let me know down below. Because I'm absolutely in love with lavender hair right now. Like, ah, I, I just feel like a unicorn, my little pony. I can just be all of that. So, yeah. So, this is basically what the Adore hair looks like. And, I'm, I mean, the Adore dye looks like. And I'm going to show you guys the results. And you guys are going to, you can just be the judge because I know like I could be a little dramatic sometimes but you guys are gonna see that well, exactly what I'm talking about and as you see when I'm applying the dye I'm really not focusing on the roots because I know I was making a wig so I was gonna focus on coloring the roots after the wig is done because I had to add darker roots in order to make the wig look more realistic since it's a frontal along with bundles so I colored the roots like a soft black color and then I added that soft black to the parts that are blonde. So this is what the difference between the two hairs look like. That dreary ugly gray is what the Adore hair looked like. So now I'm going to switch up my regimen just a tad. And for the color brilliance dye, I'm going to be adding a white conditioner, which is my organic coconut milk conditioner. That is the most Oh, scrumptious smelling conditioner ever. So that's the conditioner that I'm going to be using to mix with the dye to pastelize it more. And usually when people try to sell you a pastelizer, all that is is white conditioner. So just save yourself the money and just get a regular white conditioner if you don't already have one in your house. So now you're going to see the difference in color automatically as I apply the dye to the hair. It's going to look brighter, lighter, more pastel, which is the nice My Little Pony look I was going for. And so I'm just going to stick with this dye for the rest of the bundles and for the frontal. The Adore was just, uh, uh, so since that, I made sure I used the longest bundle for the Adore hair. So I can always fit it in throughout the bottom of the wig or at the very bottom of the wig since it was the longest weft. So, um, I ended up putting that on the bottom and as I washed it out more, it turned into a more light lavender color. Not as pastel and vibrant as the Ion Color Brilliance bundles did, but... It came out, eh, it, it, was, it was okay. 
So I was able to pass it off and it gave the nice little dimensions and hues that you guys know that I love to have in any hair colors that I do. So I was actually happy with the outcome of that. So you want to make sure you get every nook and cranny of every bundle and it's especially important when you're using blonde hair because when it's 613 and bright like this, any little light spot that you miss is going to show like way more than a regular blonde would for some well not even for some reason it's just because the 613 is brighter now let's move on to the frontal so now i was at first worried and kind of panicking like oh my gosh how am i going to color a frontal without getting the dye on the actual roots of the hair but it really didn't matter so um i knew i was going to color it over with the soft black for the roots as well as for the baby hairs of the frontal and i'm absolutely in love with the frontal it it, it just gives a different look from a closure. You can have way more options. You can do a top knot. You can do a center part, side part. Your looks are limitless, and it's just way more options. Now, my method for coloring the frontal is a little bit different than my method for coloring the actual bundles. What you're going to see eventually is me parting throughout each part of the frontal. Small, little, equal parts. I'm going to part and then apply the dye part and then apply the dye because I want to make sure every single part of the frontal is saturated in this color and what I also love is that the frontal from New Star was actually lighter than the bundles so this is the second time that I've had um, like a closure or frontal from them like this is the first time I have had a, I've had a frontal but the closure I had from them the last time it was that I used to make the gray hair um it was lighter than the actual bundles so I would say that the bundles are a 613 and that the frontals or closures are more of a 613a which is the lightest blonde there is so now my method for the frontal is that I'm going to be parting it in equal parts in order to make sure that the, the frontal is fully saturated in this color and being that it is the lightest blonde of all of them, it is really going to make the lavender more vibrant. And I really, I'm really, i really happy that that was the case because this was going to be on the top. So it really made the color pop more, like way more. So um, I'm just going to part and apply. Like I'm going to part, apply, part, apply. I'm going to make sure all the parts are equal parts. Or even if they're not, just make sure that I see absolutely no 613 spots at all on this front tool. I'm trying to get this as lavender as possible okay so yeah as you can see I'm parting and then I'm applying the dye parting and then applying the dye being that lavender is one of those tricky hair colors I made sure that I did not leave the hair dye on too long as soon as I was finished applying it I left it for about 10 minutes and washed it out right away I knew that if I left it on too long it would make the like the purple more purple than lavender and that's not what I was going for I wish like as soon as I applied it, I could wash it off right away just so that it was like a subtle color but I was absolutely amazed with the results so I was happy with the outcome but with this color you really do not have to leave it on at all and it's already diluted with the conditioner in order to pastelize it so that was amazing and it was conditioning the hair at the same time so you kill two birds with one stone now my final verdict for this hair color is that the Ion Color Brilliance dye is the winner between this and Adore. As you can see, it is thicker, so it did make it a little bit more difficult to apply. But the Adore is way too runny, and it didn't give the same color payoff in the end. So definitely go with Ion Color Brilliance. I was absolutely in love with their colors. And I have another pastel video coming up, so definitely stay tuned for that. And you guys are going to love that color as well. I'm not even going to tell you. It's just going to be a surprise. So once I'm finished with this, I'm just making sure that everything is done, all the parts are co completely covered, and you're going to see the results, which is this. And this is how I look for my 21st birthday. If you guys would like to see a makeup tutorial on this featuring glitter, elixir glitters, as well as a whole bunch of other lovely products, definitely be sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.